A sequence of numbers can progress according to a well-defined rule or formula. In many cases, we want to know if that sequence of numbers will evolve towards a specific number or if it won't, like if it grows without bound. So for example, let's say we wanted to plot a function like one divided by n on a graph. We'd start with n equals one, giving the value of one, and then n equals two, giving a value of one half, then n equals three, giving one third, and so on. Rather than tediously plotting many more points, it's clear that this sequence of numbers is decreasing towards zero. It's easier for us to finish our graph by drawing our curve to asymptotically approach zero. We say that this sequence of numbers has a limit equal to zero. A sequence that has a limit is called convergent. A sequence of numbers with no limit is called divergent. For example, if I give you a sequence of numbers that is one larger than the previous number, that sequence will continue to increase indefinitely without bound. Some limits of sequences of numbers are intuitive to us. For example, the sequence defined by x to the power of one divided by n for any value of x greater than zero goes to one as n goes to infinity. This makes sense since any number to the power of zero is one. Additionally, x to the power of n goes to zero if the absolute value of x is less than one. Again, this makes sense since if we have a number smaller than one, like 0.5 for example, we'd expect that multiples of itself with higher powers would get smaller and smaller. One half of one half of one half, etc., would seem to approach zero. However, there are many sequences where it isn't obvious if they have a limit or not. For example, n to the power of 1 divided by n can be proven to go to 1 as n goes to infinity. In another example, if we take x to the power of x, where x is greater than 0, and take the limit as x goes to 0, it has a limit of 1. Furthermore, Take the sequence defined by this odd-looking function, 1 plus 1 divided by n to the power of n. It turns out that this sequence has a limit. As n approaches infinity, the terms in the sequence approach Euler's number e.